Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam said that Allah jalla jalaluhu said and really open up your heart for this type of hadith as Allah speaks to you and he speaks to me he said ya ibn adam o son of adam innaka ma da'awtani wa rajawtani ghafartu lak ala ma kana minka wa la ubali o son of adam so long as you call upon me and you have hopes in me i will continue to forgive your sins and i will not mind يا ابن آدم لو بلغت ذنوبك عنان السماء ثم استغفرتني غفرت لك ولا أبالي أو son of Adam if your sins were to reach as high as the heavens and then you apologize to me and you repent I will forgive you and I will not mind يا ابن آدم لو أتيتني بقراب الأرض خطايا ثم لقيتني لا تشرك بي شيئا لأتيتك بقرابها مغفر أو son of Adam if you come to me on the day of judgment with sins as much as the planet earth but you come to me having not associated partners with me i will bring for you the same amount of forgiveness la ilaha subhanallah like if you read this hadith what happens your heart is filled with excitement now you're looking forward to salatul fajr your next salah you're excited or maybe your qiyam your night prayer because you're going to stand in a space before a lord who wants to give you he has what you need and he's saying to you from narration to narration i want to give you just ask of it and i will be up to your aspirations and and i will give you more than your aspirations see remove therefore that image that a lot of us have of allah jalla jalaluhu of a monster astaghfirullah god forbid a ruthless being who is looking to harm you to torture you who is searching for your faults to disgrace you and embarrass you this is not a god that whom we recognize that alone submit to or worship allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has no vendetta against people 